Hey, so as you know, I'm in the classroom a lot this month, getting ready to become an instructor, do IDC. Right now, I'm finishing a bunch of little uh, specialty courses that I'll be able to teach, like nitrox and all that, first responder. Uh, but you know what? All work and no play makes Justin a dull boy. So sometimes I need to get out of the classroom, out of the pool training, and just go find some critters. So that's what I did last night. I went and did a good old critter hunt with some friends. Uh, so check that out. So here's my setup. Everybody's asking me what stuff I use. I have this little cheap Gorilla Joby pod thing. Uh, and I took the screw out of the bottom and I bought a bigger bolt that goes through the housing tray and then into the Olympus camera housing. So it's connected securely. And when I'm underwater, this thing is a really, really steady tripod. Today I'm trying some new lights, just some cheap ones until my uh, my backscatter gets back. I have uh, the backscatter flashes and snoots, but you guys know I don't do much photos. We're just doing a video today, so I'm going to try out these little lights. I'm going to use these short little arms to uh, attach the GoPro, or no, to attach the... Uh, lights but I can't find them I got everything in this car you could think of but I can't find the freaking one thing I need I've checked like every box I have every mount every magnets every mount you could think of hello Alex but not the one I need. Ah, uh, maybe it's in here. <laughs> well, I left the arms and clamps at home, I guess, so I'm just gonna use one light today. And honestly, I only use one light per dive anyway, so I don't need two weighing me down, but this will be good. I'll set up the GoPro when I'm filming something to show you how uh, how this tripod works. It's pretty cool. Mayan hapon. Mayan hapon. hapon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Diving today? Yeah. That's all the tanks? Yeah. Oh, we got more. That's all. One dive or two? Two dives. Night dive. Uh, so my Critter Mobile, the ultimate scuba car, is coming together. I'm going to make a separate video to show you guys all my gear that I use for the mobile studio, the mobile critter mobile. I think, yeah, I think I'll make a separate video just for that because you guys are always asking my camera gear, all that. I can show you this, but it's going to be a separate video. Here's my uh, emergency first aid. It's huge. Uh, custom built this for, you know, when I have my own guests and students and stuff. I also got a massive 12 liter uh, emergency oxygen tank, but uh, I'll show you that in a separate video as well. Shout out to Brian Davy Scuba for uh, the exposure suit. I'm losing, I lost 80 pounds so far, it's really hard to find a wetsuit. So shout out for sending me this one and another one, he sent me a shorty. What do you guys think? Think it's too wavy to go diving? Basically, I don't think it's ever too wavy to go diving. It's choppy and the visibility, you can see the visibility to there might not be great. Uh, but I'll bring you guys with me. I'll bring this GoPro so I can film the, the wide angle and let's see how the visibility is today. But honestly, I don't care. Diving is diving. Bad day of diving is better than a good day in the office. Well, it takes a lot of battery, but I think I'm going to shoot in 4K today on the GoPro and the underwater camera. I just got a new housing.
audio sucks, but let's see how it goes. After the, after the fifth or tenth time. Ready, Jerry? Well, enough of these turtles. Let me show you how my tripod works. Yeah, it's pretty basic. I find a critter, I set up in the sand, make sure there's nothing underneath. And then the tripod holds up the cold camera and everything. That's the only way to get completely steady shots like this. Even with really, really excellent buoyancy, there's no way to get a completely steady shot doing video without a tripod or something to lean it on. And I think it's definitely worth the effort. This colorful dude is a Halgerda nudibranch, and I love these things. These are really common, but normally when you find them, they're in pairs or even big groups. Not alone like this guy. This one was quite big too, maybe four or five inches long. I decided to test out the tripod for this epic time lapse underwater and I was so amazed about how much fish activity was going on just at this one little staghorn. And then I could turn off the time lapse, get a closer up view and see what's going on in real time. Here I'm set up next to a clownfish anemone, trying to zoom in on this really transparent shrimp. These guys are so tiny and moving fast, it's really hard to focus on these guys if you're not using the tripod. Nearby was this crazy looking nudibranch. I love these guys. The color contrast with the corals and stuff that it's on just makes it look amazing.
This nudie prank was out in the sand on a little rock, not really a colorful background, but it still looked great. You can see here I'm swaying in the breeze, or I guess the drift, so not really using the tripod, and you can see how not very steady it is. It's the same with this one. I was at the very end of the dive and there was a lot of current, but I found one of the craziest looking sea hairs I've ever seen. I've never seen this one and it's definitely going to make an appearance in my new book because it's a brand new one for me. It's definitely a sea hair, but it looks like a rose and it's really colorful. Love these guys. And I'm still amazed that I can find new species of nudibranch or sea slugs that I haven't seen here yet. Maybe the highlight of the dive of the whole week even is this little tiny spiny tiger shrimp. These guys are awesome, especially when they actually let you film them. These are really tiny, about the size of your pinky fingernail and they never hold still like this. I was really lucky. He wasn't in the easiest spot to set up a tripod. He was on a wall, but still, he was moving so slow or sometimes not at all, and it let me get some amazing shots. This is what critter hunting is all about. And by the way guys, April 1st, 9 o'clock a.m. at Liquid Dive Resort, we're having a massive beach cleanup. We're going to clean up the city, then we'll go do a dive. So make sure to come if you're in the vicinity, come join us. There's going to be so many people there. It's going to be an awesome project. Go clean up the beaches here in Dowin. See you there, April 1st. <laughs>